Hi, friends. If you don't know me, my name is Miller and I teach English. I wanted to take a minute to talk about um, September 11th before sharing a video with you that I think is important. Um, I was in my second day of seventh grade. I was sitting the second row in from the window, the third seat back. And there was an announcement that our principal had put over the PA system that he had a, an emergency meeting for all of the faculty. Our teachers left our classrooms. They came back about five minutes later and they told us that there had been a national tragedy. Um, I don't think yet the circumstances of the plane crashing into the World Trade Center was known to be a hijacking. Um, but we watched these events unfold throughout the school day um, on the TV that we would use to watch announcements. And we watched, you know, the first tower and second tower when they fell. We saw the second tower get hit by the plane live while the news was covering the first tower being hit. Um, we heard about and saw pictures of the Pentagon after the Pentagon was struck. And then the flight 93 that went down in Somerset, which isn't terribly far from Pittsburgh, um, was the fourth plane that went down. And when the first tower was hit, we didn't know what happened and we didn't know that it would progress throughout the day that the story would eventually unfold that it was a, a network of events planned as a terrorist attack. Um, at the time, my mom was working for US Air. And that was terrifying because I didn't know what that meant for her. I didn't know what that meant for the people she worked with that I grew up around or the pilots that she scheduled for years that um, would sometimes come and visit us at the house. And I guess my point is that you know, trauma affects people in different ways. For a lot of adults that experience September 11th, whether through personal experience or like me, just, you know, watching all of these events unfold on TV, um, it's just one form of trauma. You might be able to relate to it, even though you weren't born then, um, because you've experienced your own trauma in your life, whether it was something you've gone through personally as a community, nationally or globally. Um, trauma affects us in different ways to different degrees. I think that um, it's important to keep in mind when you're trying to, you know, work with or talk with or just be around other people. You don't you don't ever know what somebody else has gone through. And I think it's something important to keep in mind. So when I show this video, know that it includes some audio from bystanders who are trying to record um, audio of ultimate victims who were on some of these planes. Um, you can hear audio of one of the hijackers. And um, yeah, I just, if it gets cut off for time's sake, because it's about four minutes long, um, just know it's available on YouTube and it's titled 9-11 as events unfold. And if you need a frame of reference for why today is so important to so many of us, it's something that I recommend. American 11, are you trying to call? The cockpit is not answering your calls. Our number one is in staff and our five is in staff. I am going to call from Washington. Are you in a situation where the Americans learned a possible hijack? What's going on then? The aircraft is erratic again. Problem, very erratic. Ready? 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 Oh my God. 
so both towers are now. Okay, I got an aircraft coming out east of the White House. Crystal City, just north of Crystal City. Uh, just to the north of your town. Yeah, stop all the parkers. Pentagon just got hit. Don't say that. Uh, Goddamn, I can't protect my like NCA. United 93, that traffic three is 1 o'clock, 12 miles eastbound, 370. Negative contact, we're looking, United 93. United 93, Cleveland, if you hear the center, right then. I got the pitch, you're done. You're going to be ready to be. You have the ball, boys. United 93. Thank you. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> 